Welcome to the city of Atlanta. It's true. It's true. We're so lame. New Rock 99X. I'm the executive producer of The Morning X. Uh, I'm the producer of The Morning X, okay? Jimmy's a great guy. I, I, I love Jimmy. He's, he's the best. Besides being on The Morning Show, part of The Morning X, I am the uh, assistant program director, and let me tell you a little bit about what I do when I get off the air. I was the guy in, cl in, in, in your class who was the screw-up, who was always cracking jokes, who never took it seriously, and, you know, who the teachers didn't like because he was always disrupting class, but they kind of liked him as a person. And thank God they invented a job for that guy. I work with all the record companies. We put together all of the free concerts that 99X does and all the Live X concerts, which is our acoustic series. So all day long, I sit on the phone talking to record companies and managers and tour managers and bands and kind of set this stuff up. Right now I'm working on about eight different concerts between now and the end of the year. So actually it's a lot of fun. The Morning X with Barnes, Leslie and Jimmy. The short-lived, ill-fated morning oh, show. Yes. That's how it's always referred to. The short-lived, ill-fated. Ill-fated, but brilliant morning show. Not. <laughs> New Rock 99X. I think 99X is the essence of rock and roll, where it's going like, you know, modern and stuff. <laughs> Consolation. Their lives were in danger. 99X. 99X in the house of retro pleasure from Brick by Brick, the most popular album, the most popular song, chart wise, from Iggy Pop. <laughs> Well, it's always not what you know, it's who you know. So I started sucking up. I decided, you know, I suck up to the right people, I'd get in there. They were like, well, you know, we could train a monkey, but it'd be a little bit more arduous, it'd take longer, so we'll just, we'll choose you. I was an antichrister. I was an anarchist until Jeremy spoke in class today. Get that camera away from me. It's hurtful. Stop it. I love this. I love this. Um, no, it's just cool. It's, um, what else? What other gig could you have where you got this humongous 100,000 watt stereo system and you get to play music for a lot of people and friends and you get your hands on music for, I mean, it sounds hokey. It's all about the music, but music's cool. I mean, it's, it's such a disposable medium these days and it's fun to have something that I can hold on to and use and play with and I get paid. 99X. Well, you know, when I was five years old, I first saw that radio antenna, I said to myself, boy, I'd really like to be a receptionist for 99X. I'm a people person. I have the greatest job at the radio station. Yeah, I'm the general manager. It doesn't... I crack the whip. Well, if you notice, it's kind of a, a zoo. And, uh, and so we uh, have a great creative staff, and so I get to work with all of them. And that's really the reason that I enjoy the job so much. No flash photography! Where did I get this? Years and years of cigarettes and bourbon. Hi, what are you wearing? Yeah, yeah, I'm dark and deceptive. <laughs> and, and what else? Yes, and I live in a cave. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. To the love shack, baby love shack. 
I've got a Plymouth Horizon. It seats about four. So hurry up. We're going to the Love Shack, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melissa Carter. I am the news writer and the public affairs director here at 99X. So I write the news for Leslie Fram. <laughs> and I host... <laughs> And I host a talk show on Sunday mornings so, oh. called Viewpoint Atlanta. I work with Brian Phillips, Leslie Fram, and Sean Demery, and all the air crew. Now do you see the resemblance? <laughs> huh? Now can you see? Hey, from the same egg. Hi, I'm Amy Van Hook. I'm the marketing director here at 99X. I oversee the marketing and promotion staff, and we get to do most of the fun things here at the station. It's not a job, it's a lifestyle. Welcome to the planet, Planet Jill, 99X. I'd like to give the world a, a big hug and a Coke and a smile. Jill wears activity pants to work. Jill wears check. <laughs> there are two things that she alternates back and forth with, activity pants and rompers, and I don't know which one I like more. Actually, the rompers show a little bit, a little bit more of her f figure than the other things, but She's the only person I'd shack up with, considering that Leslie's taken. It's not like a real job. <laughs> uh, I do 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. I'm the uh, overnight guy. So basically, I'm in charge of pilfering office supplies, cleaning the bathrooms, emptying the garbage cans. I also uh, change the oil on the vans when necessary, change light bulbs, and uh, run the sales department. <laughs> it's definitely not the money. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not funny. When I first started, I had no idea that I was going to become a DJ. I mean, you know, I wanted to be the first man on Mars. I went to the Naval Academy to become an astronaut. I was going to be the first man on Mars. That was my goal in life. And then I grew too tall to even be a pilot. And, uh, you know, I was not happy with the Naval Academy, so I came home. Uh. Hi, I'm Alicia. I work here on the weekends, and uh, gosh, I've worked here for 900 years probably. Radio is a whole lot of fun. That's why I do it. I get to come in here, play music, just have a good time, cut up, talk to folks on the phone. I love to get out and meet the folks that listen to the radio station. It's a lot better than being in the studio where you don't really get to see people. You get to talk to them on the phone, but that's about it. I like seeing people face to face, finding out what they're about, what they're interested in. That's, to me, some of the funnest of being involved in radio. Axel, what's going on? Not much. This is, uh, this is what goes on between 6 and 10. A whole lot of nothing, just loud music and an annoying person like me. This is Axel's world. Yeah, this is my world. It didn't completely suck, so I'm still here. <laughs> okay, continue with this meaningless banter. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta. Jump in my shorts. Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm an accounting manager for 99X. Hi, I'm Barry Levin. I'm the sales manager of 99X Direct here at the radio station, and that deals with all the freeloader programs that we have in place. Uh, everything from 99 Express to all the great deals that those of you that have freeloader cards know all about. Hi, my name is Reed Haggard. I'm the general sales manager at 99X. I'm Joan. I'm the promotions director here at 99X. I'm a very giving person. Hi. <laughs> Did you see that? Hello. We don't have disc jockeys here. We have real people, and they all are very intelligent with a quirky look. Uh, at uh, everyday life, and I think that's what makes them so entertaining. They're not all a bunch of hippie freaks. They all kind of have a sense of what's going on in the world, so I'm kind of into it.